What's going on everybody? Here I have my 2010 Hyundai Genesis Coupe. It's a 3.8 Grand Touring. I'm starting a video series all about the Hyundai Genesis Coupe. And in this series, it's going to be videos on how to use the Genesis, demonstrate its um, features, whether it be navigation, voice commands, how to use your iPod, the different auxiliary modes, and all that stuff. Also, if anybody has any special requests that they'd like to see, um, my purpose is to educate everybody as much as possible about the Hyundai Genesis Coupe. So if anybody out, out else out there is looking at this video, looking to maybe purchase one of these vehicles in the future, that you're as well educated as possible before you actually get to the dealer. I've already made a 19 minute video review in depth going over, lightly going over the entire car, um, discussing performance, showing a couple of things, the navigation, stuff like that. But, um, and also a video of actually picking up the car at the dealership and those are all offered on my channel. The first demonstration video that I'm going to go through is how to use your auxiliary inputs as related to the navigation screen. Alright, we're going to start up first before we begin. Standard on the Grand Touring is the incident torque in miles per gallon readout. Alright, in order, you can actually use the auxiliary system in three different ways. If you have a thumb drive, you can insert it into the USB port. I'll show you that and control all your files from the screen. You can use the auxiliary to just plug in through a headphone outlet, or you can use this cable purchased by Hyundai or purchased at your local Hyundai dealer. It will you to be used with your iPod and will allow you to control your iPod from the navigation screen. So first of all, I'm going to demonstrate the thumb drive. All right, I have a standard USB thumb drive here. You're just going to want to insert it into the USB slot. The car will instantly read it. it. Instantly starts playing a song. Now you can change the sound different modes, and this is the same whether it's for CD, AM, FM, all that kind of stuff, XM. You can do random, scan. And this particular one has the 10 speaker Infinity audio system. You can select repeat, list. These are all the files that I have on this current thumb drive. So if I were to, yeah, we'll pick another one. That's pretty much it how you can do that. Um, you can also control it from here. You gotta smile so bright. And the voice command. Command, please. Next track. Next track. I'll demonstrate all the voice commands in another video in the future. That's how you use the thumb drive. Right, right now we're on XM. Let's say I wanted to use it through the auxiliary headphone jack. If I plug it in, it's going to instantly read that there's something that's been plugged in there. Now, I'm going to take my iPhone or any other iPod or MP3 device that you may have and want to use. That's pretty much standard. Lots of cars these days are coming out with stuff like that. Like I said, the same way. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's it for the iPod, the um, headphone jack at least. Let's move on to this cord. 
when you unplug the auxiliary outlet, it's automatically gonna go back to your whatever you were on last. All right, so we have the iPod cable now. You're gonna wanna insert the pronged region. It's automatically gonna read it. And for this purpose, we'll use a different iPod. This is an iPod video, it's a couple years old. There we go. It'll actually read out Hyundai in just a second. Same way. You know me. One thing I can tell you is you got to be free. Come together. It's very simple, as you can see. You can also select it from the steering wheel. Same thing with this. Command, please. Previous track. Previous track. Repeat random. Same thing for the flash drive. Well, guys, I hope this has been informative for those of you who are um, curious on the features of the iPod interface for the Genesis. Be sure to subscribe today. There'll be a lot more Genesis videos where this came from, um, and I'm taking requests too. So you, if you want to see it, how a particular thing works on the car, be happy to do it. I do have a test drive video also coming in the future. I'll demonstrate the paddle shifters, how the transmission works, the um, particular ZF six-speed automatic. So. Until next time, guys. Have a good one.